we're talking with Damian Lupo, who is the CEO of Total Control Financial at TotalControlFinancial.com. And Damian, we're going to talk uh, later in the show more about Total Control Financial. But one of the things that I did see on your site is you really want to empower people. Actually, there's a there's a core, and you talked earlier in, in the last segment about the the core values you have, and sort of that is the most important thing you've learned, even after generating millions of dollars. And a lot of times we talk about on the show true success. You know, that's a category we have. And that's in addition to money, or maybe even instead of money, or it goes hand in hand. But ultimately, like maybe why we're on this planet are are things that that are you know deep deep inside, things that are bothering us, challenges. So when you get into sort of what true success is to you, and it can be the basis for everything we do, it can be the reason we're actually in this challenging life. We, we may have chose to come here. What would you say to somebody, you know, you want to empower people? How can people empower themselves and maybe, you know, kind of defeat some challenges they've had? And what, what kind of challenges have you had and what's worked well for you in that category? The, the the first thing that we have to do, all of us, and there's there's no exception to this, is taking absolute responsibility. It's it's living with self responsibility where we let go of the 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 blame and the justification and and the victimhood completely. And it it doesn't mean that we we say that we're at fault for something tragic that happens, but it means that we're responsible for how we interpret it. And once we do that, we start to have control. The name of the company, being Total Control Financial, is all about control. And it's it's because we believe that once once somebody says, I'm going to take control of my money or my health or my relationships or whatever it is, then they have the the chance to actually do something different and live something different until that happens. It doesn't matter what we do, because there's still this little voice that gives us an excuse on why it didn't work. And it kind of paralyzes us instead of empowering us. So the, the fact that we go into a space of total responsibility raises the energy level, it changes the conversations, it attracts a totally different level of person in our lives instead of just having the same old people. Because if we're stuck, there's probably a reason. And the people that are around us are probably helping us to be stuck. When we shift into, into self-responsibility, those people aren't going to want to be around because they're going to be staying in their victimhood. So we're going to end up being around different people that are going to support us in a different way. And that is the one key that that shifts everything when you own your life completely. So maybe thinking about all the things we are thankful of, as opposed to thinking about the things that we don't like, which is very tough. It's tough for all of us because they're very tempting and especially deep things. But taking responsibility for our thoughts, maybe um, trying to think about, you know, focusing on what we do like, finding the good in things, which can be very tough, even for myself, even knowing that I need to do that. So when when something comes to you like that, you know, we all have things. I mean, what do you do to get back into self-responsibility? Is there anything you think or any technique that you might use that can help somebody, you know, especially with something really tough that they they have implanted maybe even in their subconscious to kind of get back empowered into self-responsibility, into taking control and feeling like they can do it? Yeah, the, the, the question I ask, and I wrote about this in, in my book, Reinvented Life, where I, I said there's the one question that can take us into a space of consciousness in 15 seconds or less, and that's that's asking the question, what is true? And and when, when we start asking that question, it shifts everything very, very quickly. And, and one of the other chapters is called Success Versus Fulfillment. And what I remember with, with my life was spending a lot of time on the success and I was missing the fulfillment. So I had the success, I had the Ferrari, I had the American Express black card, all the, the trimmings and trappings of wealth, and I didn't have the fulfillment. And if I asked what is true, the truth, the, the truth was that I was lost. I was really good at being a good consumer, but I wasn't really good at being a good contributor or, or finding the circulation that is so powerful when you're on purpose, where you're giving and receiving, and it's, it's this beautiful flow that happens. I, I, the truth was I didn't really know what my purpose was other than more money. And, and so if we're asking that question and we're really honest about it, then everything shifts because we see what's real right in front of us. If we're not asking what is true, then we'll fall into the trap of, around what, what feels nice or, or just those other things that are really false and they don't give us the, the deep sense of what our purpose is. Sure. And we've talked about, you know, I've been interviewed on some shows myself. I say, hey, if Nikola Tesla's free energy worked out, which... It might might actually exist somewhere. Who knows? Who knows what's in Area 51, right? But if free energy was there and we didn't have poverty and 
some other technologies might come out where that can end all disease and we don't really need to worry about maybe money. We have 3D printers. If more advanced replicators are out, we can have objects sort of arrive and then what do we do, right? And then our true purpose comes after survival a lot of times. I had a very similar story. I didn't make as much money as you, but you know, I wanted money, money, money. That's how we are raised in the United States. I got it. I lost it. Then I got a lot more. And then I was hit with, hey, I'm still angry. Why am I still angry? So let me ask you, <laughs> Damien, like what is fulfillment for you? What did you find that was really your true purpose? And what what is fulfillment for you? Fulfillment is 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 teaching for me. And, and that comes in all these different forms. So one of the forms is martial arts. I love teaching. I love I love seeing people break through themselves where they, they, they find the truth in, in the dojo, in their, in their life, their movements. I, I see that when I'm teaching finance, when I'm working with, with people on their money and they, they see something and really what it is, it's not about doing something for somebody. I love empowering people and seeing them where they get stronger, where there's this, this muscle of confidence. And in terms of, of financial freedom, a, a lot of people have really messed that the idea of that up where they think it's a pile of money. And really, in my mind, what financial freedom is, it's the confidence that you can create. Because if you believe in yourself and you trust yourself to be able to create, then nobody can ever take anything away from you that you can't recreate. And it just creates this, this peace and this calm. So my idea of fulfillment, what makes me happy is is spending time with people that are responsible and wanting to learn and change because there's a difference between just wanting to learn and not doing anything with it and there's and then there's this this idea or this this energy around learning and then implementing and when i see that it just gets me all excited and gives me goosebumps so i love being in that space i love seeing that i love being a part of anything where that's that's taking place and so i find myself spending all my time in those spaces Sure. And I was just in LA at Conscious Life Expo and I'll give it a plug, ConsciousLifeExpo.com. And it's, you'd think it wouldn't be related to money and business, but actually it's all connected because you're right. If I'm happier and feel like I can be more confident and more um, even and, you know, everybody has their own things they're working on, right? Then actually I will be able to create more. I will have more confidence. I will, I will be able to take action. A lot of times we don't know. Somebody can give us a list of 10 things to do and we can do this if we're hiring people. And why don't people do what we need to do? If Even if somebody tells you what to do, <laughs> we won't do it. So I think that's a beautiful thing what you said. And I'd love to...